weekend is Zurich Art Weekend and I have never been. Nonetheless, I wanted to show you around my favorite places in Zurich as kind of a solo date for me. I thought I'd show you my favorite places and maybe we can visit art together. It would be so cool. Okay, here we are at the old fence of Zurich that you can see all along. And it's super calm and beautiful and the nature is all around. But there's a lot of water going on right now. I don't know if you can see it. And I wanted to cross there because I love this path, but unfortunately it's not possible. Unless I want to get wet feet. This is what I'm wearing. An old thrifted dress, a thrifted blouse, and blouse in white, loafers, and some socks that go to here. Just my, with my hair off because they're a bit greasy. I also realized that you have to put oil in your little ends of the hair to get them more thicker. I did not know this. And yeah, this I tuck a bag, which I love, but also seems a bit basic. just tried my first lavender matcha latte and it's really good. I would totally recommend it. This is one of my favorite stations in Zurich because it looks so much like the 50s or the designs they did in the 50s. So in this church a lot of people marry. So usually on a Saturday there are two couples at least that marry here. And right next to it is one of my favorite bridges that is currently quite crowded. But there's the Grossmünster, a quite famous church. And next is my favorite museum, the Hellmaus, that is free. And I would recommend you a visit. The thing that a lot of people don't realize in this church, it has quite a rare or seldom vault, which is super special. This book stand is also quite rare and when it happens you have to look at them because they are super gems. Helm House is one of my favorite museums in the whole wide Zurich because it features mostly local artists that they exhibit. It's mostly contemporary art there and what I love to do when I'm there, especially in company, is to talk about the things that we see because they're open for interpretation mostly and then ask what do you see in this and it mostly evokes a deep conversation about life. The other thing that I love to do is just to wander around Zurich and to visit all the little galleries and to just walk around and explore the new art, the new settings, meet new people. Believe me, there are a lot of galleries in Zurich. This is the most beautiful thing. In the old town of Zurich, I recommend you to get lost and go in all the little galleries that you can find because you will spot such a beautiful window seal. And I cannot get over it. The treasures that I find and the beautiful, talented artists. No one sees the world like you, so if you wander around, like make it a practice to notice all the little things that other people wouldn't see and to make you excited about life. And things you just find beautiful because they tell a lot about you and who you are. Here we are very close to the museum's quarter, which is beautiful as well. If you're here in Zurich, I recommend you to go to the museum. On Wednesday the entrance is always free, so that's the best day. What a dream it must be to be exhibited in one of the galleries and to meet it as an artist, like life goals. And also I love the people that dress up for art and I love to see the people like just being so passionate about it. So they go to all the galleries and stuff. It makes me so happy. May 36 is one of the most beautiful galleries in Zurich, I have to say, and I absolutely fell in love with Poppy Jones, who was exhibited there at the time. I had a long talk with the curator about how she produces art and what inspires her, and what she does was basically 
She photographs settings like still lives. She considers them as a painting. She transfers them to a medium and then like corrects it with the painting. It's such a beautiful work. Then I madly fell in love with this couch by Carlos Scarpa, who I didn't even know that he produced the furniture, but the woodworking and the detailing was absolutely magnificent. Another 50s inspired tram station. Not as beautiful as the one at Paradeplatz, but also very handsome. If you have time, I warm heartedly welcome you to go to the Lindenhof where you would have the most beautiful views and be covered by the linden trees. And at Mühlensteg, it's a bridge that is currently restored and couples used to hang their little keychains there to celebrate love. As you can see, I could go on forever about the beautiful places that you could visit in Zurich. I hope these things were insightful, inspirational, and that you could take something with you so you know what to visit in Zurich. Maybe next time I will tell you more about the background of each individual place and I take you along. I hope you enjoyed and I see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.